This video is brought to you by BetUS Sportsbook and Casino. Well, the Eagles practice squad is finally finalized, and it looks like the Eagles stole another receiver from the Washington Commanders. A lot to talk about with a couple changes. Let's get into the video. A killer buried, but not dead. Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? I hope everyone's having a fantastic day today. So a lot to discuss regarding the Philadelphia Eagles and the practice squad. We just got the final 53 a couple days ago. So this is the first time in a while where the Eagles didn't really go on the waiver claim at all. They barely even used the waiver claim. So it seems like the Eagles have been comfortable with, obviously, the guys that they did waive that came back to the practice squad and, obviously, their final 53. Are there still some questions regarding some certain players on the team right now? Yes. But I think the Eagles feel very comfortable in a really good spot right now. So we're going to get into the practice squad. But before we get to the practice squad, this video is sponsored by BetUS. And this is a word from our sponsors. If I'm the betting man and I am and you're rooting for the Philadelphia Eagles, this is the redemption year for Jalen Hurts. This is the year we get the bad taste out of our mouths from last season. If I'm going all in, ride or die with a Super Bowl and bringing that Lombardi trophy back to Philadelphia for a second time, you need to go to BetUS, and I'm not wasting any time with it. I'm putting 500 down as the risk and getting 7,000 back at the end of the year because this offense is going to be explosive. This defense by Vic Fan Yo, it's going to be dynamic. New customers for BetUS get 125% deposit bonus on your first three deposits up to $2,000. You can't pass up on this for the most important season for the Philadelphia Eagles. Check the link in the description below. And I want to thank BetUS for sponsoring this video. All right, so on to the practice squad, guys. I know everybody's really excited, so we definitely got the list the other day, so I want to go over that really quick in depth of a couple changes actually made here. Now, practice squad, we will start with linebacker Oren Burks, which he missed the entire offseason program with that knee. He made that last game. You know, this is a veteran player that went in for the 49ers in that playoff game last year. This is a guy that's a veteran player that can help, and if you need to elevate him and, you know, you want to keep him in, for another year after this year. I mean, look, for this year, I mean, I, I feel like you can trust him. I feel like that third preseason game, he did really well, uh, got some pressures, got some tackles. I think he had a sack in the backfield. I'm not really sure. I thought he did, uh, but I like to see that Oren Burks is back um, because I really didn't want him wasted. I felt like, man, just him being out so much time, he probably could be a lot better right now, but glad he is back. Wide receiver Paris Campbell is back with the Eagles. The Eagles were keeping five receivers. You obviously trade for Jahan Dotson, and it looks like, you know, Paris Campbell and John Ross were released. You know, John Ross didn't seem like, I guess, didn't have a chance. I guess didn't do enough for special teams or much for anything else. So that whole thing is over with. Paris Campbell coming back to the Eagles on the practice squad is probably the best move they can make as of right now. If they need to elevate him or something like that, they could do that. But like that, Paris Campbell has returned. I still thought they needed just one more body there, and they got it. Obviously, it was a up uphill battle with Jahan Dotson joining the team. Uh, running back Tyrion Davis-Price. I mean, other than Will Shipley, Saquon Barkley, and Kenneth Gainwell, I thought I got what I needed from this running back core. Kendall Min Milton, north and south runner, I think bring uh, packs a punch in the backfield. Uh, Price as, you know, Price is, I don't think Price is much of a receiving back as of right now. But I think um, he's got that Le'Veon Bell tactic where he gets up to the line, he's patient, he finds the hole, he gets through the gap, and he turns on this other uh, shelf of speed, which is absolutely amazing. He's been the most productive back over all the other backs. I've, I've liked Lou Nichols and some of the other guys, trust me. Uh, but as the number four guy on the practice squad right now, price the price is right with David Pro Davis Price. I'll tell you that much. Now, Nick Gates um, is back with the Philadelphia Eagles as of right now. As the final 53, the Eagles did not have a backup center. Okay, I figured they were going to bring Nick Gates back or it was going to be Brett Poth that could play center and guard. But Nick Gates comes back. You know, the veteran comes back, has started a lot of games in the league, okay? And I think this was a really good move. And there's already news coming out from Nick Gates or from the really... Uh 
from the Eagles that they're going to be most likely going to be elevating him um, by the first week. They'll probably elevate him every single week just because, yes, like you need a backup center or a backup guard. He's there. Still owed to almost $2 million guaranteed from his commander's contract, as it said right there. So whether it was Nick Gates or Brett Toth, the Eagles decide to uh, sign that, you know, are going to elevate the, the savvy vet when it comes to game time um, on these game days. So nice to see him there. Um, Will Greer back. You need a can you obviously need a practice squad arm. There it is, knows the system well. We, you know, a lot of people expect wanted him to be the number three or to make the final 53. Unfortunately, um, even with practice squad, you know, that's where he's gonna be. At least he's here. That's all that matters. We can still produce him, and he knows Kellen Moore's system, like I said, really well. Gabe Hall. Um, I know the Eagles did wave him or release him. I think it was a wave. I think he was injured. Don't know if he's still injured. I don't think so because he wasn't on the injury report for practice the other day. Uh so Gabe. Paul, the undrafted free agent uh, from Baylor, as could be your definitely best second nose for this team, but he missed some time, unfortunately. Uh, I do like the defensive tackle room right now with obviously your starters with Jalen Carter, Jordan Davis, Moro, Jomo, Milton Williams. I like Tupalutsu, and obviously that Booker, that Thomas Booker kid, I'm really excited for to see if they put him at the nose as well um, and just to see him be really good this year. I, the Thomas Booker signing has been one of my favorite signings uh, uh, especially to the final 53. Now having Gabe Hall on the practice squad is going to be nice to bring him along a little bit. Now, tight end. I'm so happy what they did here. They brought back, they waved EJ Jenkins. I was hoping to God they, he wasn't going to get claimed by anybody, but he comes back to the practice squad. And the Eagles did what we hopefully all expected was Jack Stahl to come back from the New York Giants, okay? Um, Jack Stahl has been the most reliable, not just only as a pass catcher, but as a blocker as well, okay? A lot of, you know, the, he's a, he has started a lot of games for the Eagles. We have had injuries in the past with Dallas Goddard with the oblique injury. Albert O is having muscle surgery. He'll be on the IR, okay? And unfortunately, Calcaterra just can't stay healthy. So I think it was really smart the Eagles brought two tight ends because then you can you can obviously elevate not one but two guys if you really have to um so I, I thought it was going to be one or the other between EJ Jenkins and Jack Stahl, but really happy they brought both of those guys back. So very happy with that situation. Obviously, Dylan McMahon, obviously we drafted him this past year, could play both guard spots and center, produce him along the way. We'll skip the wide receiver because we want to talk about that. Um, now, Andre Sam at safety. I think he brings grit. He brings a punch to the mouth, talk in your face. I like how rangy he is. Andre Sam is becoming one of my favorites on the practice squad. I just think he's a very rangy safety, and I think we'll do some good things later on. I want to produce this kid as much as possible. Glad he's on the practice squad. Linebacker Brand Smith, great special teamer, made some plays in that third game, did a lot. I think he's one of the I think he's actually one of the best special teams. I think he's a big major improvement over Sean Bradley. Uh and Brandon Smith, I think, is is there. So uh do really I really do like him. Caden Stearns, okay, at safety. This is uh one that this is Vic Fangio, you know, Vic Fangio drafted him as the head coach to the Denver Broncos years back. Um, and Caden Stearns is another rangy ball hawk, you know, will get in your face type safety. Um, you know, I I, I actually really like this kid, but unfortunately. Didn't pass the physical, was already on medical when he came to the Eagles. He was supposed to sign with the Carolina Panthers because he couldn't pass the physical. The Eagles said, you know what? If you're hurt and you're staying on a one, if you're staying on one leg, come over to the Eagles. We'll treat you right. So he'll be more, Caden Stearns is more of a next year type of thing with him. Not really this year too much. And obviously offensive lineman Layakin, uh, Lakin Vakalahi is the international sign that we had. Uh, we did it with Jordan Mulata. Why not try it again? And has played guard has played tackle on the left side. So, you know, produce this kid a little bit more, see what he's got. And, you know, there might be a big future for this kid. With Jeff Stout, there's always a chance. Uh, when you're a big unknown that's never played, you know, in the league, you know, you never know what you could turn into. And that Layakid kid might have a chance. We'll see how it goes. Don't expect anything for this year. But, you know, for just learning this year and being around the team and practicing and just getting better, that's all that really matters, okay? So, like I said, having a backup center, having a, a six a wide receiver, having really two tight ends coming back, two that I really wanted back. I only thought they were going to keep one. 
extra safeties. Um, and, you know, I think we're, we're doing pretty good. I think practice squad was really good. Like this list a whole lot. Oren Burks, fantastic. Um, now, the new receiver here, Marcus uh, Rosemey Jack Saint, okay, is an interesting one to me because you see, is Joseph Nagata on the practice squad? Definitely not at all. Okay, Marcus Roseby Jack Saint, uh, the Eagles uh, ended up getting him from the Commanders. He was with the Commanders this offseason, undrafted free agent this past year in 2024. Um, I think he only had, what, seven catches for 77 yards, so he had a good preseason game. This is an upgrade over Joseph Nagata. He's more of a um, – he is a physical, so at, what, 6'1", 205, um, can get those contested catches. I think is better and more consistent um, than Joseph Nagata. And after the catch, he just brings the size and speed of combination to it, and I think – you know, and is a Georgia player. So, you know, Georgia, the Eagles, it's almost connected at this point with a guy like Rosemey, uh, with Marcus Rosemey, Jack Saint. So he's got size, more consistent catching his 50-50 balls. Contested catches are amazing. After the catch, amazing. Special teamer, amazing. And he is a fantastic blocker. So see if the Eagles want to use him in certain ways. Maybe they elevate him for certain things. Well, we'll see what happens. I don't know. But Joseph Nagata's not here now, so they sign a guy potentially can be way better. And, you know, we're stacked at receiver right now. But when your number's called, you never know when one of these stars wants to shine, not only for this team, but maybe a team down the road, you know, for another con for a, a contract or a bigger contract. So I really do like this signing. I don't know this player from Georgia too much. So really Georgia stats, if you want it for all the college heads out there. Um, so he had, what, 74 receptions at wide receiver, 1,028 receiving yards seven touchdowns during his career at Georgia so you definitely have an upgrade here when it you know I think you have more of an upgrade than Joseph Nagata here and somebody that you know potentially this could be a next year thing and you know you never know what's going to happen just Jahan Dotson after this year if he plays well if he doesn't um you know just just what happens you have another body in the building right now so a really really good signing by the Philadelphia Eagles loved it liked it tremendously now, let's get into the practice, okay, from yesterday, okay? The Eagles that didn't practice yesterday, Dallas Goddard, Isaiah Rodgers, Jalex Hunt, Johnny Wilson. Johnny Wilson still dealing with that damn concussion? What's going on? <laughs> That's the question I want to know. Like, what, Johnny Wilson's been dealing with this concussion for, what, two and a half weeks already? It's kind of crazy, so hopefully he's okay. Dallas Goddard and Jalex Hunt are dealing with... Um, unfortunately, uh, oblique injuries that could take up to uh, three days to three weeks. Okay, Jalex Hunt needs to play this week. He really does. Um, you know, as a perimeter guy, that fits really well. I loved his camp this offseason. Uh, but you know, with Dallas Goddard not being in, kind of sucks because you could miss him the first game. So you count on Calcaterra. You're obviously going to bring up Jack Stahl or EJ Jenkins for one of these games for this first game if he cannot go. Uh, so that's really concerning. Isaiah Rodgers, I don't know what the injury is, but hopefully. It's nothing too crazy serious uh, with him. I think it's just something light. I wouldn't be worried about it too much. If it was anything bigger, I think we would have heard about it by now. So not worried too much about that. And lastly, we have our number changes. Okay. Quinion Mitchell is changing his number to 27, which was Zach McPherson's number. So nice to see him going to his original number. Jahan Dotson is still wearing 87. I mean, Brent Selleck, is Brent Selleck approved this? I don't know, but he's still wearing his number. We're seeing what happens with him if he ends up changing it. Maybe he didn't get a chance. Maybe he's still thinking. I don't think there's a deadline for it, but I think uh, if 87 is his number, I guess that's the way he wants to go. I'm actually kind of surprised, to be honest with you. But other than that, guys, that's it. We've looked, take a look at the practice while we took a look at some, uh, some of the positives, negatives. I think there's a lot of positive here. The Eagles really didn't claim a lot of players, but I think – Everything went their way. I think everything in this draft went their way. I think to this, now the 53, to now the practice squad, I think everything has completely went their way. So you guys let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about the about the final 53, even the practice squad, what you like about it uh, going forward. Yes, there's questions with James Bradbury and obviously with the safety position, Cooper DeGene and where they're putting him. So we'll keep an eye on practice uh, which it, within the next week to see if they end up putting him at safety or what's going on for that position or just him in general because I really don't want want Cooper DeGene to sit back as a backup. I want him to be the Swiss Army knife and roam around the field for specific matches.
matchups. Uh, so it should be good. We'll see what goes on with that. Um, and other than that, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like the stream. Appreciate it so much for everybody joining up today. And uh, this video is sponsored by BetUS. Get 125% uh, deposit bonus on your first three deposits up to $2,000. Let's bet on the Philadelphia Eagles because they're going to make you a lot of money. Click the link in the description below for all of that great stuff. Keep betting and bet on the Eagles because you're going to be a quadruple millionaire. Okay, whatever. A uh, hundred thousand there. Don't care. But click the link. Do appreciate it. Guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you comment. I want to hear everybody comment about what they like or don't like. Guys, enjoy it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Shakes it up. Follow us. Peace out, guys. Peace.